friends i have this mobile charger it is not working it have a light here when it works i have 245 volts and in the same socket when i connect to mobile and it have no light here no charging indication let's check it Now I will apply power. If you have no good, good practical experience how to deal with power electronics, never try to repair. The problem in this charger, we can see there are very dim light. LEDs are very dim. So that means the SMPS circuit is working. To check, to troubleshoot, where is the problem? Let's see it. Set multimeter to AC and check voltage at AC input terminal. It has 241 volts then we can check the DC voltage at main DC capacitor that is 338 volts without fluctuation after that we can check the voltage at VCC capacitor it has 5.67 volts and in the output capacitor there is 282 millivolt so output capacitors are not giving output and in the output terminal we have just only 280 millivolt and the same voltage are at USB ports so that means there is no output now the question is this if we don't have output why we are finding the regulated voltage the stable voltage at VCC capacitor so let's discuss if we see the design of this power supply this charger basically it is an offline switcher if we see there is no optocoupler here is bridge main DC capacitor and here we have offline switcher this IC works without any feedback from the secondary section here is CM1902 IC uh, the second number is C9325 when we see the part number we cannot find any data about regarding these numbers bridge rectifier input terminal AC input terminal second is input terminal fuse print fuse then we have AC terminal here we have positive negative negative is connected to negative terminal positive is connected to this capacitor we have 205 it is 2 mega ohm resistor it is connected to this VCC capacitor here here we have VCC capacitor positive side and here we have diode here inside it is connected to VCC winding which will rectify the voltage to charge this capacitor initially the capacitor will charge from this positive voltage then the VCC winding the auxiliary winding will provide voltage and this capacitor will start functioning and it will give voltage to this pin number 2 these two resistors 1 and 2 2 ohm resistor 1 1 r 9 1 1 1.91 and 2 ohm resistor for i sense for for current measurement because it is offline switcher and here we have drain pin which is connected to transformer primary winding from this point to this point and this line negative line negative line of capacitor is connected to this pin so it will start switching here and the positive voltage from this capacitor are connected to this point so here we have primary so this circuit does not have any optocoupler here we have snubber circuit just only this is the circuit in output side we have rectifier IC its number is KP4110 so it is a rectifier pin number 4 is connected to positive side and pin number 
वन टू थ्री आर कनेक्टेड टू कैपेसिटर नेगेटिव टर्मिनल एंड हेयर इज कैप ट्रांसफार्मर आउटपुट सेकेंडरी आउटपुट इफ यू सी द आउटपुट कैपेसिटर्स फिजिकली फ्राम टॉप साइड दीज आर लुकिंग गुड फ्राम द बॉटम दीज कैपेसिटर्स आर ओपन दिस कैपेसिटर एंड दिस कैपेसिटर सो दीज बोथ कैपेसिटर्स आर डैमेज so these both capacitors are damaged this one is damaged and it is also damaged it is 470 microfarad 10 volt when we want to replace the capacitor we have to select 470 microfarad 10 volt and here is temperature 108 105 degree so the working temperature must be selected carefully for selecting capacitor voltage capacitance and temperature we need 470 microfarad 10 volt 105 degree centigrade i have 470 microfarad 25 volt 105 degree centigrade so this capacitor have more voltage rating we will use it when we install capacitor always take care for polarity for polar capacitors negative to negative terminal and positive to positive terminal it is slightly oversized but it is for just only for experiment now we have replaced these two capacitors these were damaged uh, in place of these two transistors now i am going to turn on let's power it on very nice we can see it is lighting up now we can check the voltage dc voltage it have 4.5 volt output because this charger is using synchronous rectifier ic kp4110 so it can provide a very huge amount of current now we can check the response on a mobile phone yes it is good it is charging now we will pack it up these capacitors are oversized but no problem because it was just only for experiment so if you want to repair it in practical ways so you have to select the capacitor size with same size i hope so this video is good for you if it is good if it is good give a thumb up if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it If you want to watch my videos in future press bell icon button thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh